welcome back to my channel so I'm going to show you guys how I do my roots on like blonde hair and how I fix any mistakes I am going to use box dye for this tutorial I am I have three Revlon box dyes um, it's I have a, a dark brown and two yellowish ultra light blondes which is still a yellow blonde but it's not as yellow as the regular 613 hair it kind of tones it down a little bit and and I wanted to keep that yellowness so this wig is actually from my wig line that I usually sell to my customers no I don't I, I do sell my YouTube wigs but I also sell new wigs and it's not YouTube related okay so this is one of my wigs it comes with combs adjustable straps and full lace frontals um yeah so this is in 16 inches and I am going to go in and cut this so the first box that I am going to use Revlon 41 and this is a brown shade and I'm going to use this for my roots so the reason why I'm using this brown in instead of black for my roots because I just feel like black is harsh and usually black has like a purple undertone and I don't want that I just want brown so I'm going to use half of the contents of um, the color and half of the developer. I'm not going to use the entire bottle because I don't need the entire bottle. Um, the roots are the roots is not going to take that much um, color to to do. So um, you're going to need two types of applicators. You can use a rat tooth comb, rat tail comb or your edge brush applicator. I like an edge brush applicator better than a rat tooth comb. Well, it really don't matter, but my rat tooth tooth comb was kind of shady so I was like okay let me just switch it on over to my um, edge brush so I did that instead and it made it 10 times as faster it would have taken with a rat tail comb so my lace is protected I'm not going to tell you guys what I use to protect my lace on this video but I do have a video coming up and it's a super simple easy trick and no it's not got to be glued because got to be glue don't really work like that so um, I am going to take my edge brush, I'm going to dip the bristles into the color and I am going to go ahead and take thin sections and apply that color to my roots. Now it's up to you to decide how long you want your roots. I, do, I fairly don't like long, long, super long roots when it comes to um, wigs. It just looks better when they short or like maybe an inch and a half or two inches. That's as long as I would go. But that's up to you and your preference and what you're looking for. Um, I am going to show you my reference pictures that I was going off of when it came to this wig. Um, I did make this for a customer, so I'm going to show you the picture that she sent me, and and you could tell me if I achieved it. Um, but yeah, so she definitely wanted asymmetrical bob, and I did that. It's kind of hard to do asymmetrical bobs and um, to sell wigs because everybody like neck shape and face length is different sizes, um, and so it, a asymmetrical bob might look different on me versus her. So I left her enough room to where if she wanted to cut it shorter, she could. So, but yeah, I am gonna take my uh, edge brush and I am just gonna go in and throw coat the roots now it's okay if you get a little messy but I will say try to keep it as neat as possible because we are working with ultra light hair and like any staining from this box dye will get on the hair and you will have to fix it and I am going to show you guys what I use in this video to fix those stains those unwanted stains and you can actually use this to remove like some stains from your lace as well I just find that box dye is hard to get off of your actual lace, even with a color remover. Um, so, but if you use in semi permanent, it will lift up with the color remover. All right, so um, that that's just something that I wanted to tell you. And then, like red dyes are super hard to get off of your uh, off of your lace. So, but yeah, so I am being um, 
cautious and careful when it comes to this application um it looks like i'm going fast but this is a sped up video well this portion of it is sped up i'm just making sure that i'm very thorough and i'm saturating the root as well as i can because again i don't want any um areas where the color did not take i don't want any areas where um you can still see light areas on the roots so i just wanted to make sure that everything was heavily saturated and it, this didn't take me too long i think it took me about 15 20 minutes to actually apply the roots over the entire wig and yeah so i'm gonna let you guys finish that i only did half of the wig on here because I just felt like this video is almost like 10 minutes, so I didn't want um, to, you know, show you do show me doing both sides because it wasn't necessary. But as you can see, the color is oxidizing and the roots are changing. So you can see how, how dark this color actually gets. It's not going to stay this dark because once you rinse it out, it's going to get lighter. It's just oxidizing right now. The color is depositing. So right here, I'm going to take the same color and the same brush and I'm going to put it on the first track that connects the, the tracks to the frontal. Um, I'm doing this so it can have a seamless like look because I'm not going to go in and do roots all throughout the wig. It just makes no sense to do that. Um, you can just cheat your way and just do it this way and you will not know that there's no roots all throughout the wig. So I'm just going to put some roots around the first track of the wig and call it a day. And so this is how much con how much product I have left. Um, I really didn't even need to use half of the containers that I used, but I did just to make sure I didn't run out. So as you can see, this is the color that is oxidizing to, and it's pretty. It looks pretty dark. If you want your roots a little darker than what mine's was, you just want to go for a darker brown. Okay, mine's was like a, a a golden brown, like a medium golden brown. So that is just up to you. Um, and this is what we look where we at right now. So as you can see, since I'm using dark hair dye, I did get some oopsies on my color. And because I'm am gonna leave the hair blonde, I don't want those specks on there, so I have to remove it. So what I like to use is color oops. And you can get color oops from your local beauty supply, or you can get it from like Amazon. I will definitely leave an Amazon link, and it's two a two-step process and I usually take like a um, a clear bowl like I normally do and I'll put a drop of step one and an equal amounts of step two in there and I'll mix it together and apply it to those spots now this is a very powerful product it will lift off anything so if you if you are doing spot treatments make sure you're doing it that way if you want to remove all your color then it'll work the same way but I'm doing spot treatment so I'm rubbing the hair and the color oops between my fingers and then I'm applying it that way um, this is definitely going to turn your hair super super banana yellow so um, you definitely want to make sure you apply your your um, your hair color that's going to be on the basically the rest of your hair lasts because it will lift that up all right so once i let put that on there i'm gonna let it sit for five minutes and i'm gonna come back to it and the color will be removed all right so as you can see it's super yellow i don't know if you can tell on camera but yeah the color is gone and so now i could go in and rinse off the root dye and make sure you do not let the root dye go on the hair strands because you will darken it and you don't want that so this is what my wig is looking like right now freshly washed no I did not use shampoo I just make sure that I washed all the root dye out and I'm gonna take these two different color box dyes um, one is lighter than the other and I am gonna mix them together in my applicator um, 
applicator and I'm gonna mix both of the colors and both of the developers that it came with together and I'm gonna just go ahead and apply that on the wig now my wig is damp and the reason why I prefer to do color on damp wigs it just helps um, apply the color faster and better so I put both of the box dyes in my applicator I'm gonna make sure that I mix it well and I'm gonna go ahead and section the wig off into two sections and I am going to apply my yellow blonde all right, ultra yellow, ultra blonde, that's what it's called. And so basically I'll, I'll put it on there and just massage it. And because the hair is damp, it'll just move the color easily throughout the strands. Now, this is a 613 wig, and so you want to use the lowest developer possible. You just want to deposit the color. You don't want to do any lifting. You don't want to over process this hair because it's already processed, okay? So like, we don't want to do that. Um, I'm also just only focusing on the 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 webs of the hair and the mid sh the mid shaft. I'm not pulling the color all the way down because I'm gonna end up cutting this wig anyway into a bob. And you also want to be careful not to put this ultra light blonde on your roots because if you do that, it's going to process a little and it's gonna lift your roots a little bit. So you you just want to make sure that you don't get that on the all the hard work that you did because if you put that on your brown roots it will lift it a little bit okay so I just like to massage the color in and just go from section to section and make sure that it's heavily saturated and thoroughly like applied in there and that's basically it um I did not show you guys how to cut the bob only because like it's a bob um if you do want to see that just let me know down in the comment section and I will do that I'll link everything that I use in this video down below in the description box yes if you are interested in this wig you can purchase this off of my website if you just want a regular blonde wig you could purchase it off of my website um and that is about it i hope you guys are staying healthy and safe and um i totally miss you guys i haven't really been posting like how i'm po how i normally post i'm just trying to adjust to everything you feel me but if you guys have any questions or concerns feel free to leave them down in the comment section all right and after I apply all of this color I am going to put it in like a plastic bag and put it under in my dryer bag for about five minutes just to help it process faster because I was trying to make shipment so this wig can actually get to my customer um, before the weekend before Mother's Day so um, yeah that's the reason why I use that but I love my hair dryer bag oh my god that's the best thing I've ever purchased off of Amazon so until next time bye best friends <laughs>